Hello Foamers, this is Divya Shwarya. Welcome back to DD Fluids. In this video tutorial, we will see how to install Paraview version 5.9 manually in uh, Ubuntu Linux system. So if you have installed the OpenFoam Foundation version, any version like OpenFoam version 5, 6, 7 or 8, Paraview is already installed as a dependency and uh, if you have installed openfoam from uh, openfoam.com website you need to install paraview separately so here i'll show you how to install newer version of uh, paraview in your linux machine so for the windows user you can check the other tutorial A link to that tutorial is already available in the description box okay so as an uh, overview you will install uh, latest version of uh, paraview here also we will create a launcher icon for uh, paraview so you don't need to start paraview from ter terminal you can use a shortcut to start paraview also there is one uh, drawback of this process uh, after following this whole process paraform command will not work so you need to create a dummy file with a dot form extension manually and uh, later you can open that uh, dummy file in paraview so that is uh, one drawback here so let's begin so here we have installation steps First, we will start with uh, removing the older version of Paraview uh, if it is ex uh, it exists in our uh, system. Then we will download the latest version of uh, Paraview from uh, official Paraview website, and we will extract it and copy the case files, uh, copy the files into our uh, installation directory. Then we will compile the new newer version. After that, we will give uh, terminal access to OpenFoam so that uh, we can open it through Linux terminal. And at the end, we will create a launcher icon and we will add that uh, launcher icon to our favorite uh, taskbar. So first step is uh, removing the older version of uh, Paraview from OpenFoam. So let me open my terminal. So here if I type uh, which paraview it will give me this link and there you can see we have uh, paraview open form 56 version 5.6 already installed so we need to uninstall this one first so to uninstall we will type this command sudo space apt hyphen get remove then uh, paraview open form 56 so just check whichever version you are using currently you can simply type this uh, that version name here and when you hit enter it will start uninstalling so here it will ask for the password hit yes to uninstall ok so we have uninstalled the uh, previous version now our next step is uh, downloading the uh, newer version from the official website so for that we will open any web browser here I am using Firefox so in the Firefox just type uh, this uh, website paraview.org and hit enter so 
so you will see this website on your screen and here on the top uh, panel here we have a tab for the download if we'll go into that tab we can see the different version of uh, paraview so basically we can download the paraview for each uh, system so here i am using linux so it will automatically take me to the linux if it is not just click on this linux and here we have the main uh, file that we need to download so i'll just click on that and it will ask me for the whether i want to download or not i'll check on this save file and hit ok so once you finish the download just uh, go to the uh, files and from here uh, locate the downloads uh, folder and here as you can see we have this paraview 5.9 this file downloaded so now we need to extract this and into our uh, opt folder where we have our open form installation so again we will go into the terminal and here we will type one command so let me first clear my terminal so we will start with this command uh, sudo space tar then hyphen x v z f then uh, tilde then slash then downloads and in the downloads we have paraview this file so after this we need to give hyphen capital c and then slash opt and then slash so once we hit enter it will ask for the password and uh, it will start extracting all the files into our uh, opt folder so this may take some time to extract all the files because we have 500 mb uh, of uh, a zip file so it it will definitely take some time So once we finish the uh, downloading the file what we'll do is we'll go into the uh, file where we have uh, installed this so let me uh, go back cd double dot slash double dot and from here i'll navigate to opt folder let me clear the terminal okay so as you can see i am in my opt folder and now if i type ls we have this uh, extracted file so this is our basic installation file now here we need to rename this file because all the settings we are planning to do will make it complex so it's better to rename this so i will just uh, name it paraview 5.9 i will remove this entire uh, this portion uh, 0.0 mpi linux python 3.8 so i'll remove that portion from this name for that i'll go with uh, sudo space mv then this file name then give a space and then give para view hyphen 5.9 and when i hit enter it will rename the file and if i type ls we have paraview version 5.9 so after this we need to compile our uh, installation file so we will first go into the gedit.bashrc file and then we will add this particular line into that uh, bashrc file so let me open my terminal again uh, to open the bash rc file i'll type this command uh, you can use sudo gedit then 
tilde slash dot bash rc and hit enter so that will open this file and if you go at the end of this file you need to just add one line so here i have already copied the line so this is our line that we need to install add let me zoom it for you so this is our line that we, are, we need to install add and uh, once we add this line we just need to save the file and uh, close the terminal now the next step is uh, now the next step is uh, terminal access to give the terminal access we need to run these two commands in our terminal so i'll type both the commands one by one so in the terminal i will type my first command and hit enter so that will give you no output and it will automatically execute then i will type my second command and again hit enter so that will also not give you any output and it will just execute in the background so we have given the terminal access now our next step is creating the launcher icon so for that we need to run this command and uh, this command basically will create for the creating the launcher icon once we will open this uh, command run this command it will open a file into the gedit and there we need to uh, add this following lines so once we follow once we add these lines we will automatically create a launcher icon on our, our screen so let me do that so here i'll type the command and hit enter so here i have this uh, file open now here i need to add all those lines so i have already copied the file let me paste it here and i will save the file and let me close this so this way we have created a launcher icon if i go to my uh, applications here now let me search for the paraview and you will see this paraview 5.9 so with this name and with this icon you will see your file uh, you can also open it from here and once it will open you will see this paraview 5.9.0 version here and uh, here you will see the icon so you can simply right click on it and you can add it here as a favorite and that will stay forever into this taskbar in the favorite bar so even after closing this window i will have this uh, icon here and i can open it from here now let me show you how to open a open form case file into the paraview so first let me go into the run folder there i have a cavity case and you can see all the executed executed results file are here with zero constant system and all other time files so here i if i type paraform it will throw an error and i will not be able to open the uh, file into my paraview so here you need to follow a procedure there you can create a dummy file using this command so you will type touch then dummy then dot form and uh, hit enter so that will create one additional file this dummy dot form 
and this particular file you can open into your paraview so let me open paraview again then if i go into this open and navigate to my uh, cavity folder the case you will see this file just click on ok and hit on apply button and you can see the file into the paraview so this is my open form case and if you don't want to use this sh shortcut you can also use uh, command line uh, to open the case into the oh, paraview so for that you can simply type paraview space the name of the dummy file dummy dot form and hit enter so that will also open the open form case into the paraview so either way is fine it's up to you so this is all about uh, today's session so if you are looking for this uh, presentation you can uh, join my telegram telegram channel there i'll upload all the ppts in uh, pdf format you can also subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also join me through linkedin and instagram all the links will be given into the description box so check those out with this stay healthy stay fit see you in the next video